All right, everybody, let's open a meeting. Can you please stand for Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Thank you very much. Good evening, and welcome to the June 12, 2023 special meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals, or ZBA. <coughs> First, let me introduce the members of the ZBA present here this evening. Myself, Chairman Alan Donnelly, Vice Chairman Carl Hinger, our Secretary, Janet LaForgia, Regular Member, Commissioner Lisa Temple, Regular Member, Commissioner Nahid Kaiser, Alternate Member, Commissioner Mr. Larry Rushmeyer, Alternate Member Commissioner Richard Briggs is supposed to be here shortly. Um, absent tonight is the Zoning Enforcement Officer, Mr. Lawley, but with us tonight is filling in for our Reporting Secretary, our outstanding land use staff, Ms. Amy Kern. And also present this evening, we have our new Land Use Director, Ms. Laura Barkowski. Uh, also absent tonight is Mr. Commissioner Elijah Hewlin. The current agenda can be found here at the table or on the town website under board meetings. When we begin the public hearing, I will call each applicant one at a time. When I call a property address, please come forward, state your name and address for the record, and tell us about your appeal in detail. After, the secretary will read into the record any communications we received in favor or opposed to the application. The chair will then entertain questions of clarification from the board members concerning the application. We will then hear from those who wish to speak in favor of the application, followed by those who are opposed. Following each side of the question, the applicant will be allowed to make concluding remarks. After we have gone through all the cases on the agenda tonight, we will close the public portion of this meeting and will deliberate an open executive session. You must have at least four affirmative votes to have your appeal granted. The final decision may be in the form of approved as submitted, approved with stipulations, or disapproved. All questions and comments must be directed through the chair. Please be assured that everyone will be given the opportunity to speak. However, the board is most interested in hearing factual information relative to the application. And in view of time constraints placed upon us, we ask your indulgence to not reiterate the comments previously presented. You are welcome to stay until the end of the meeting or contact the land use office in the morning. Thank you very much. Now, tonight's a special meeting, so we are going to end up going directly into. Uh, no, for the record, Commissioner Richard Briggs is here. As I was saying, tonight is a special meeting, so we are going to go right into deliberations. And the first deliberations are on Z-23-27. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before we begin, uh, out of an abundance of safety, I would like to recuse myself from uh, 202 Candlewood Lake Road, Z-23-27. You are recused, Mr. Vice Chairman. Uh, Mr. Briggs, yep. would you like to say anything? Uh, sure. Okay. Um, Commissioner Tebble, can you be the Vice Chairman for this? Mm -hmm. Please. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so deliberations on Z-23-27, uh, African Ages, Jason D. Lewis Memorial Post, uh, number 10201 VFW and Danbury Slovak Gymnastic Union Sokol Club Inc. This is an appeal of the ZBO, the Zoning Enforcement Officer. So let's, uh, let's open discussion. Who would like to go? First. To recap, we're here to um, for an appeal to the Zoning Enforcement Officer's um, ruling, correct? Yes, so we have to view, it, view, view that ruling. Yes. Uh, I forgot to do something. <coughs> Would you mind if I did a little bit? I forgot to read the terms. I made a mistake. And it fits nice, but okay, I apologize. All right, uh, I forgot to read, and I wanted to read this in your record. I read it last time, but I wanted to read it again so it was fresh in everybody's mind. Uh, and this is the procedures for uh, appealing of the ZEO. Here we go. When adjudicating appeals of the ZEO, we must hold a public hearing and review the case de novo, which is a Latin term for anew. We must be impartial and unbiased. 
you must give fair consideration to both the applicant and the CEO without favoritism. We must consider all the facts and evidence submitted and use our best judgment when rendering a decision. We may uphold slash affirm in whole or in part or reverse in whole or in part the decision of the CEO. Four votes are required to reverse wholly or in part the decision of the CEO. I apologize. Please. Well, I was just reiterating our role, which is that we are the zoning enforcement officer made a ruling a violation and we're here to determine if that was proper. Mm -hmm. Just starting off. Mm -hmm. Level seven. Um, well, so I would say based on our previous meeting that uh, it seems to me it was a proper uh, violation uh, in that the permit, the original permit from 1989 does not apply to the new parcel. Uh, so I would say that the, in, in order to, that there have to be a new permit issue um, that would apply to the new parcel and potentially uh, a revision or an update of the old permit that applied to the old parcel. Yeah, I was convinced that the parcels were merged, the new and the old, under the zoning laws as um, <coughs> Yeah. Yes, so I think um, having heard everything, having, um, you know, safety is a concern, we all went through different scenarios, um, but um, the person is merged, and I do think so too, that um, uh, the permit is not, or is not being yet. I do think that, um, their uh, occupancy, their numbers have grown, and maybe a fresh permit, maybe a fresh zoning. Um, special permit. Special permit, yes. yes I, um, I was very concerned about the safety of them having to park all the way up street in the dark and coming back and they might be veterans who are disabled so if in fact those 13 parking spaces are used then what do we do what do we do with, with the, the drop them off and then come back drive all the way up to elbow I don't find it I think that there, I do agree with a lot of the commissioners here that it, it is merged. It is. And I think uh, maybe we could work out something where we could include it, maybe change, um, and then they could park, have the additional parcel. Is it, did we say it was a parcel? It wasn't a parcel. I think well, we were corrected. It wasn't a parcel. Attorney it Marcus is that it was not a parcel, it's really a shoulder of the road. A that they, that they of purchased the road, from the state. It was the end of the road. It wasn't something that would interfere with the traffic on Candlewood because Candlewood Lake Road is a problem. And the police don't enforce it with speed limits. Um, if I may, I, I think that the appeal that they brought in front of us um, in the last few years, straight up to date. Um, we were actually, yes, um, we remain sympathetic because it was a very compelling, the safety is hugely compelling and, and the ZBA did rule in favor of um, the FW at that time um, and, and that was challenged in court and was struck down. Um, so, but that's not what's before us here. I mean, the safety thing has been argued in front of the court. Um, at that time, Mr. Marcus could have brought up his <coughs> constitutional law issues, which I don't think is proper for the zoning board, a local zoning board of appeals to really be thinking about constitutional law um, and Supreme Court decisions, um, which are something that he, he should have brought up at the time. The federal supremacy. Correct, yes. Um, so, but we're just, 
here to rule. That's why I stated up front whether that um, zoning violation, which was issued by the CEO, is proper. And that's our purview at the moment. We've already agreed that the safety issue was a, is a problem and was a problem, but that was unfortunately rejected by the court. Well, and the safety issue goes beyond our purview in a number of different ways because we, we don't have the data, nor is it our proper role to make a determination. I think about that. Um, for example, if, if uh, all the space is available uh, in the front yard of that house, including this whole highway section we use, would that solve the safety problem? We don't know that that's the case. It could still be overflow of some significance given the number of people at potentially at different events, because we're talking about a total of maybe 17 to 20 parking spaces for an organization of 115 members. So, uh, so and, and in any case, I, I don't think that's really our role to, to make that determination. I think that either the zoning board should potentially um, grant a special exemption in terms of that that if that spot because residentially zoned currently, which doesn't a lot doesn't really the fact that it's residentially zoned and the nature of the space makes an inherent safety problem just in its in its situation if it's beyond our scope to address. But I think on the specifics of the of the of the citation, I think it's a proper citation. The zoning goes with the property. Not with the people that are associated with that. Are you seated? You can't chime in. I'm sorry. If you're not seated, you can't. Yeah. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. So, do you have any follow up on that? I agree with whatever we do, it's not enough for you. And um, there's just not enough spaces. For the record, I'd like to uh, restate Mr. Rushmire's point because I think it's important to know what is not, not allowed. Is that the zoning laws part of the, the land? We're here in a land submission. Um, so it's it's so compelling. It's it's so sympathetic, the case. But really, our, our power is very limited. And um, it, it doesn't flow through the right to the people, these special permits, it goes through the land. So that's where we're at. Okay, anything else? Just want to pull up the photo. Sorry, sir, we, we can't talk, but we cannot uh, control that. I apologize. Sorry. Speak up a little bit. It's, oh. kind of, it's really hard to hear. Okay. All right. All right. I'll speak loud, I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything else? Um, respectfully, um, <clears throat> I kind of disagree, and I'll tell you why. Um, what's in front of us now, okay, is really permit 89-9. So the 1989, September 1989 permit is 34 years old, because that's what the letter from the CEO was based on. So this right here is in front of us now. And, uh, you know, I've read thought really hard, done a lot of reading on this, and in the Connecticut uh, under, and I spoke about it last time, under section 85 and 86, in particular 86, there's some legal citations in there. And if you basically, if I'm not a lawyer, I read it, I just interpreted it the way I am, but if any new information comes to light, uh, it's relevant. It's 100% relevant. And we have a few issues that I'd like to take a couple of seconds and go over, if I could, if I really doesn't mind. If I can find my photos on this one. So, so are you bringing up new facts, or? Well, I, th I think that the things. I don't know if we're able to do that. No, 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 just what, I, just what I spoke about last time. This is already included in the record, Mr. Chair? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, everything I'm about to say, I've said exactly before. Okay, great. Okay, the first one, I was gonna bring it up, but everybody knows, um, then I went over and visited the property in person, not once, but twice. When I visited the property in person, I saw, I don't even need a computer, but I saw the certificate of occupancy from the fire marshal, who was the local authority having jurisdiction, 
posted in two different locations. One was inside the front door and the left on the post, and one was near the back door. But anyways, it's 115. <coughs> now, and I'm going back to this 89-9, because as far as we know, and all the questioning that we asked last time, all the evidence that was presented to us, that was the rough number for seated occupancy inside there, was 115. And I did the math, a couple of people probably laughed at it, but you know, when, when they wrote this special stipulation, number four, which is prior to number five, which concerns the parking part, it says the mac maximum occupancy at any time of assembly shall not exceed that specified by the fire marshal town of Brookfield. So they're at 115, which is for seating, mm -hmm. but they can have more than that standard, you know, if there's something else going on. But if you take that number, and I did it, and I still have the math on it, but if you did it at 13, you're at nine people a vehicle. It's impossible, not even a Chevy Suburban, you can put that number in. But they have the deuce and a half, the two and a half ton uh, vehicle that's out there, which they got permission from the CEO, you know, Mr. Lolly, to keep on the site. Mm -hmm. So they're really limited to 12. Mm -hmm. So it's 10 people for a vehicle. Um, that was one piece of brand new information. I spoke about this before, so it's not new to anybody here now. But in, in my mind, in my thinking, I don't know what they were thinking about in 1989 because it was 34 years ago and I did the due diligence. Everybody knows me. I tried as hard as I could to find out the original intent mm -hmm. of what this was. But in my mind, they either didn't take the certificate of occupancy into consideration they didn't walk over to the fire marshal's office and say, hey, what certificate of occupancy? Or they just goofed and totally forgot about it. So I don't understand the 13 number. That's, that's number one. It just doesn't make sense to me. Number two, um, and I spoke about this last time that we were there. Um, I had, in my security business, I've had to deal with ADA forever since it came out, about eight or nine months after this certificate was. So that's a federal civil rights law, Americans with Dis Disability Act. I think it came out in July of 1990. Congress passed it. It's a federal law. In my mind, and I did the questioning back and forth with the attorney that was here, and I asked him, point blank. Uh, first, I asked him, is there any way, shape, or form anybody that visits, visits the location, man, women, child, veterans, anybody at all that could possibly be disabled? And he said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. We also had testimony in front of us from one of the veterans there that's a member of the VFW. He said, listen, I forget his name. I'm just going by memory. About approximately 95% of the veterans that go there are disabled and on disability from the government. So it's provable. So we already know for a fact there is a lot of people, that's just veterans alone, but other people that might go in there, not just physically, but maybe mentally disabled. So that has come to our attention, and that's brand new evidence. So that's the second part of this. I really think, and if I had to guess, I'm not an expert, I'm not a lawyer, but if, if somebody took this to court, there's a 99% chance that this is going to violate the ADA. There's no way they could have taken this into consideration because it was like nine or ten months prior when they wrote this. But I don't think this is at all, especially with the parking part of it, ADA compliant. That's but Mr. Chairman, we're not we're not here to deliberate on a special permit or you know um, we're here to say if this was a violation or not, right? Like Lisa That's said. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so at this point, that. at this point, the 13 is not enough. We all agree with that. Mm -hmm. There's a safety issue. We all agree with we that. But is it in our power that. now? At, yes. at this time, is it's not in our power to do anything other than rule on the. Okay. I, on, no, you know what I'm. No, I so totally that, understand. So that that should have been brought up when they went to court um, to challenge. That's a, yeah, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about the court or the legal issues. I'm just talking about things that we can do and the legislative body, which is only not us. Right. We can't, we can't say I don't like this number yeah. and change it. That has to go over there. But there's only one way for that to get back to them. There's only one way, and that's for us to vote to approve this. And then they can take, and they can write a whole new one if they want. If we don't, it'll never get done. Yeah. It's the bottom line. Bottom line is, oh, sir, sir, speak, sir, 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 hold on, sir, hold on, sir, I'm sorry, sir, you'll have to leave, have to I'm sorry, no, sir, no, no. you're going to have to leave, I can leave. no, 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 excuse me, I'm the chairman, you can yes. stay, sir, just, we, we can't have any talking outside of our discussion, please, I have the original yeah, document, so, it's okay, 30 people, sorry, right, sir, you can stay, just, we can't, we can't have any talking, 
God, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, so, I, I'm, sorry, you want me to I'm having something? a hard time um, following his logic as okay. to why we should approve in order to get it here's, back here's, to the here's my logic. zoning commission, I guess, is okay. what you're suggesting. Yeah, here's my logic. Our, our job and our duty, I know I've said this a million times, but we swore an oath and have a solemn duty. It's written all over the, the Connecticut statutes, a couple of dozen times in 8, 4, 5, and 6. But our job and our solemn duty is to protect the health, the life safety, the general welfare, property values, and convenience of the public. To me, this hits all five of them, or at least four out of five of them. And if we see a possible situation, and I tried to think of precedents on this. Okay, I try to think, and there's two, there's two cases, because I'm kind of new, you guys have been here a lot longer than me, but there's two cases in particular. Does everybody remember the January case that was when we were upstairs? The stairs on Candlewood Lake Road. Yes, Road. I remember Okay, that. remember the really, really nice uh, yes. elderly lady that came yes. over and spoke uh, and told us about three tragic deaths on Candlewood Lake That's Road. That's right. I, I know there's more than that, but she spoke. So I, I went back to that because it was a case that came in front of us and it was somebody that came in front of us and spoke about Canwell Lake Road. One was her good friend that went out walking, got sideswiped, three weeks in the hospital, and then died. So suffered and died. The other one was a friend of hers that went out walking, got hit from behind, and died on the spot. And the most horrific tragedy was the little 10-year-old boy, the Secret Service agent's boy, she told us about it, I remembered it, uh, that was just visiting his grandma up, up in there with his dad, got hit and struck and killed right in front of his father, which is horrible. So we already know for a fact there's been at least three deaths on Cannibal Lake Road. And if there's any way, shape, or form, and, and this is the next part I was going to go into, it. I don't need to look at my notes on this. When, when I went out there, and it was completely and totally unsolicited, but Mrs. Somers, if she's here, but she was deathly afraid. Deathly afraid of getting any citations or getting in trouble with the town. Deathly afraid. And he said, look, can, can I show you where we park if we even think we're gonna go over that number 12? Because that's the number they use, it's 12, it's not 13. I said, sure. So she walked me up and they go to Horseshoe. I was calling it Lane, but it's actually Horseshoe Drive. It's up Elbow, Elbow Hill. But basically she showed me exactly where they park. And they have a member that lives on the corner or whatever there, and they made arrangements which by the way, I called Brookfield Police Department, the major, I forget his name, and said, hey, is it, is it legal to park, you know, off-street parking? He said, you can park at Candle Lake Road if you want, as long as you don't block the view, you know, of other cars. It's perfectly legal. I, don't, I wouldn't park at Candle Lake Road. So they go, anyways, they go up to Horseshoe. So she walked me. Horseshoe, right. Yeah, Horseshoe yeah, Drive it is. It's Horseshoe yeah. Drive. Yeah. So she walked me up there, okay, and I, I got the map in front of me because I walked it, but she walked me up there. The bottom line from where they park, and apparently they can get 10, 12, 15 cars, something up to, there's like a stone wall. I could pull it up if you guys want to see on the map. But there's a stone wall up there, and they can get 10, 12, 15 cars up there. They park up there, and it's not just her, it's everybody. Anybody that th they even think they're going to go over that 12, they go up there. So I walked it. It's 800 feet. We're all in agreement. I think we're all in agreement. But it's, but it's a life safety issue. Agreed. That's wrong. Agreed. It is a safety issue. It's not a relevant issue. Exactly. It is it's a safety issue. It's not a relevant issue because we're all in agreement. Explain how. Well, because we have no reason to believe that approving this would affect the safety issue. It has because, to. No, it wouldn't necessarily because you've already said by your own account mm -hmm. that there are more people than the cars that can be accommodated on that space would permit. Mm -hmm. So one way or the other, people are still going to be parking on the street whether we approve this or not. Yeah. So so it's not a relevant problem. I mean, you could say we might mitigate it a little bit, but that's all. And I also don't think we can make a decision based on a projection of what's going to happen in the future. Our only basis for making a decision is, you know, our remit, which is to evaluate the, the, the appropriateness of the citation, which I think you can't, it seems to me there's no argument against the idea that it was an appropriate citation, whatever we think of it. And it also seems to me that the, the avenue to address this in a fuller, cleaner way would be, you know, to go for, for the applicants to go back to the zoning board and make the very case you're making in terms of the space and safety and what kind of accommodations 
And that, then I think what, we, what should be connected with that is, a, is an actual traffic study, look at the actual numbers of cars, the kinds of events, how many cars on a given event show up, what, you know, what off-site parking needs there are, you know, I mean, it's a complex task and one that warrants a fuller zone. So, no, yeah, yeah but right. what he's talking about it would be the complete plan. Yeah, it would yeah. be a plan also, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. 115 <laughs> people, I'm sorry, uh, yeah. how many cars would it take to accommodate 150 people? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you just did the math, you did nine people per car, and you like you, I would say there's a whole, this has to be revisited. You're right. 13 is not enough. But how do, you, how do you get it revisited when you know that there's a life safety issue there? But you, we are as a board, we, we as, as a board, board that that's a good issue. And yes. Larry and I were on the board and we agreed to give them that in mm -hmm. these 30 spaces or something. Right. Uh -huh. But the but 2019 one we're talking about. Okay. Based almost exclusively on the safety issue, we completely agree. But that just wasn't. Now we're asked to see if there is a violation of the ruling that was upheld, the, the, I'm sorry, the special permit that was upheld by the court, right? The permit as it stands today is 13 spaces. Is it correct that there were more than 13 cars? Yes. That's what we're here to, you know, is that correct or not? It's like, obviously to yeah. me. For today. For today, yeah, that's for the our, ruling. Was that was with the judge ruled only on um, yeah, he only ruled on. But we that that case has been appealed and appealed. It's fine, right? Right. right. And I, we could go over that, but it's irrelevant. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't want to spend any time going over that. I, as I understand it, the judge appealed it on the safety issue. Never really yeah. went back, back right. and looked at this. That's how I understand it, and how I remember it from but last time. Why, that can't be our. So if we, so today, if we say that thirteen is not enough. Right. I think they knew in 1989 it wasn't enough. I just don't think they did their due diligence, quite frankly. They didn't well, walk over to the fire marshal's I, office. With respect, I think it was a different, whatever was done was done then, Alan, we are all here right. as volunteers and we do our best. So I'm not going to question what happened, but what I'm going to say is today, going forward, mm -hmm. what can we do in our purview with the expectations that we have as a board um, can I we? think we should say, send it back to the legislature. I and think so I think too. That's, yeah, but there's only, way, there's only one way, way we can send it back to them because I don't think they'll hear it any other way. Yeah, but that's no, no, they ask for more parking spaces. I mean, if I, were, if, if, if I were the organization, mm -hmm. and if we're all very sympathetic to the organization's needs, and hopefully there's a way to accommodate uh, everybody there, but I think the organization then goes to the zoning board and says, we, uh, this is what we want to do. This is we the want to revisit the yes. 89 yes. Yes. And, and, yes. and can we work together to come up with a solution? Right. Which, which is safe right. Right. and you know has enough parking for um, I just think I just think it helps if we point out what the problems are on this that nobody's noticed, and I don't think that we can point that out unless we approve it and send it back to them because they have to look at it. They don't have to look at it if we really in detail. It, if we approve it, what we're approving is <coughs> that they can park more than 13. They, this violation no. is not... No, we're overturning. No, we're I'm, overturning yes. the right. violation. But right? it would be a temporary but, state. But it's not going to help because they still don't have the required number of cars that they need right. a permit for. But but it would be a temporary stay until they revisit the 89-9 special permit or request changes in there. It would only be a temporary stay. It wouldn't be permanent. And then we wouldn't have to worry about people going 800 feet one way and 800 feet, regardless of the number or if it's self-inflicted. And I'm looking at this not from a variance aspect. I'm looking at this from a best judgment aspect. Because this mm -hmm. is totally different. This is not the high standard that we normally deal with every day that's a variance, which a couple of the members of the board here granted a variance based on that. Right. This is a lower standard on a best judgment. My best judgment is there's a safety issue. We see it. We have to address it. The only way to, to address it is to get it back over to the legislators because that's not our job. We don't do that. We can say, hey, look it. There's a safety issue there. Number one, we don't think that they took into consideration the fire marshal. Okay, back in 1989, anybody can look at that and do the math and just say, they must not have checked, they goofed. 
Number two, they were they definitely weren't aware of the ADA that happened nine or ten months later, so they can address that. Uh, they can address all these issues there, but, but I don't think they will. Recommendation, recommend, I don't think recommendation is going to do anything. If we if it has a temporary <coughs> stay, if we approve it and it has a temporary stay, they'll have to look at it. They'll have to look at it. What, what, makes, it, what makes it temporary? It's temporary until they they will legislate this. They'll say, yeah, you know what. They, they can say, yeah, you know what, we look at it, forget it, we're leaving it exactly like that. That's their job. Well, why, Not why, our job. Why would they have to look at it at all? That's what I'm saying. If if we, if mean, we, if we approve, approve this. If we approve it, they won't have to look at it at all. Sure they will. Why? Because we can put a stipulation of a certain time. We have a, we have a, but we could, wide range of authority. We can do that if, 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 if we say this that the violation was proper, we can still do the same thing. I mean, we can communicate with the zoning board in either case, I, um, a decision yeah, the problem is this. Look, for example, the 5.1 Echo, that went like seven months with them. And then we got seven months during the summer months of people walking back and forth and across the roads. You got to get somebody to get sick and killed. That's my thinking on it. I, I'm, I'm, again, very sympathetic. And I, I feel your pain. But I think that Hold on, hold on, please. I don't want, I don't want to hear anything. Right Thank sorry. you. I, I, Let I her speak. Just, if, if they're so concerned about the safety, why this location? It seems very unsafe, and there are a lot. Well, of it's funny you brought that up. So, and last time I, I referred eight dash six or eight dash five and eight dash six. Under eight dash six, there was something that I saw in there that made a lot of sense to me. It was about the first part was about uh, bringing up the new evidence. It was like four thirty three and that. And there was another one that was like 638. And the 638 one you. said, hey, it's the citations on the Okay, I believe you. All right, so anyways, one thing that I did see in there, which goes to the, remember when they were trying to break up, the, or they're talking about the partials, they have the existing one. This was on, this permit was given on the existing piece of land that they have now. It's a roughly three quarters of an acre. So this, this is my Let's opinion. Put the okay. stipulate, say it, so they know what. Yeah. So, to. so this this particular 89-9 only included, and we we know. I, I mean, I know that. I can see it's pretty clear. It's impossible for them to think about later on, but it only included the 0.75 or whatever it is, just two quarters of an acre roughly piece of property. First, first, and then first, it first. was I forget, but it was seven, eight, nine years later. The, uh, the state said, hey, we got this part of the shoulder, whatever it is, and they bought it. Now, I, I read something in, in the statute, you'll know it better than I do, but basically, this is why I disagree with uh, combining combining those two together, and personally, I think that zoning should take a look at that particular, I don't have it off the top of my head, but the particular regulation that applied to this, to basically combine them together, I don't think it's right. This is my personal opinion that if you have a, it's not a regulation. This this is a special permit that says you can do this, that, and the other thing on this particular piece of property, which is three quarters of an acre roughly. And whatever years down the road, it could be twenty years down the road. If you buy any piece of property, you got to completely abide abide by this, which basically, in, in effect, confiscates that piece of property. I'm talking about the quarter acre. And you can't confiscate a piece of property, basically allowing them to do nothing on it without just compensation. You can't do that. So, Mr. Chairman, why why wouldn't we ask them to go back to zoning and ask for a new permit? Yes. I the think 13 spaces are not enough. They were, you know, the first parcel of land is what they're associated with. Like we said, the merger happened later when they bought the second piece of land. But at this point. It's the zoning board that can do... Because I don't think that they're going to take that into consideration. The min Unless they sat and they watched the video of everything we're discussing tonight, they're just going to get a set of the minutes with the zoning. They're going to look at it and say, yeah, you know what, I don't see a problem with this. And they're, they're not going to do anything. They're just like us. They're, they will, you know, like we're deliberating, they will deliberate, right? They will do their... <laughs> They'll deliberate. We have to trust they will do their due diligence. We can't make a decision. Yes, we cannot just... On the basis of a... Anticipated incompetence on exactly. the part of the zoning no, board. I no, mean, that's not a, fair. This is 
this organization obviously has uh, a very valid um, concern about parking and space, and, and I'm sure their concern is probably as strong as yours about safety. Mm -hmm. And certainly, if I'm a member of that organization, I'm going to go to the zoning board immediately, and I'm not going to I'm not going to be happy, or I'm not going to be satisfied with their waiting eight months to to address a very pressing issue. So that's and that's up to them and the zoning board, uh, and I have confidence that, that they will handle it. I mean, I think we can't make a decision based on some prediction of failure, uh, uh, because that, that it, it puts, it, it, it doesn't, that's not a basis <coughs> on which we can make a, a regular so, decision. Yes, sir. Something, something stuck out to me that uh, from last meeting, and I remembered it, and it stuck in my brain, that, uh, you and Commissioner uh, Kaiser were having a, a brief conversation. But in the conversation, you said something to me that made a heck of a lot of sense. You, you said, um, and I'm almost quoting, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but you said, hey, as, as unpleasant as it is and it sounds, wouldn't the simplest and easiest thing would be, and I'll ask you the man about it, is to send it back to zoning. And I, I would have to say that as I agree, but I think the only way to send it back to them to where they really, really take a detailed look at it is well, approving it tonight. But that, that yeah, I mean, that, I'm I close. Did, I, I don't know. Uh, and I, 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 I feel that way. I just, I just don't think that uh, the only route to get it back to them relies on us approving something that we it really is inconsistent with. You know, with, I think the. the Citation was valid in terms of the property, and, and there has to be, uh, a, you know, a revised application. And so I think yes, it should go back to zoning, and I think we could certainly, as a, as a, as a, as a uh, commission, we could certainly communicate with, uh, with the zoning board and say we feel strongly about this, and this requires, you know prompt attention it should have a priority because there is a safety issue here. I understand what you said, but going back to a point I made it earlier, so uh, the only thing that I, could, that I could think of, and it was one of the citations that I found under 8.6 uh, that regarded this ZEL, mm -hmm. was uh, basically you can't, it was, it was talking about variances, okay, mm -hmm. but it's very similar here, uh, except this is a lower standard, but it said that if any new evidence, and you're probably not quoted exactly, but if any new evidence that came to light that was materially relative, I'm trying to remember as best as I can, that's a factor and it should be considered. Mm -hmm. And I think that multiple things have come to light. I don't know if zoning is going to look at it. But yes. what I do know is if we approve this because of the new material evidence that came in, they have to look at it. But Mr. Chairman, wasn't it? Can you go before the zone finish? Uh, for I mean, something different. For That was for a, uh, a total zone change to the MC, the okay. Marine Commercial. Okay. Yeah. Nothing to do at all with the permit. So I I Would you like to be recognized? Yes. You are recognized, Ms. Thank you. I, I hear what you're saying about new evidence. But I think the new evidence is in light of the appeal before you. So that would be of the zoning officer's decision. Wait, could you say that one more time? Please? I said I understand the statute that you're reading about new evidence being introduced no. or with some new findings, but that's still under the purview of the appeal itself that's in front of you, which is the notice of violation right. for the zoning enforcement officer. Right. I understand that there's multiple safety concerns, a bunch of litigation on this case. But the purview of this particular appeal is whether or not this is a valid notice of violation. I respectfully disagree. I respectfully disagree. Not not as I read and I interpreted the law, and we have a lawyer on here, so she could probably read it better than I can. But if any of that new evidence comes to our concern, and if there's any kind of safety concern, I don't care. This is my opinion. I don't care what it is. If there's anything to do with life, safety, health, general welfare of the public, that's our purview. That's what we do on the Zoning Board of Appeals. That's what we all have sworn oath to do here. Th this is just my opinion. But I. So I think I an example would be like uh, evidence that those cars were in the neighbor's yard instead of the front yard of this. Like he counted the cars, mm -hmm. he read the special permit, there's a violation. 
like I, I think the evidence that's the kind of new information that we would have to consider. Mm -hmm. But we already considered all of the things mm -hmm. when we went through this in detail in uh, 2019. And you ran it. Yes. At that time. Yeah. And the court, it was appealed and appealed. Right. But this is a lower standard. This is not the We're standard. not the court. No, no, no. Forget the court. We're not the court at all. Yeah, I we're, we're looking at what, what is here in front of us right now. It's not but a can court we, case. But can we do as, we're not the zoning board. We no, cannot but we are, them. we are in judgment and making a decision for about, Brookfield. About the, the yes, violation. whatever comes before us. Right, but it's about the violation, right? Today we're not talking about... It's not about the... But we're safe, talking about I don't the circumstances think it's the of overturning the violation. <coughs> and... Um, yeah, I don't think to, I don't, to overturn the violation, they would have to apply for a special permit. Yes, and go to the zoning board. It's not our decision to make. Is what I'm thinking. No, it's it's our decision is to to my opinion. It's our decision to say, uh, in light of new evidence and facts that have come to us. I went down. I don't want to go down the line again. The not ADA, new facts. Not new facts. Make well, sure. Well, new evidence. Yeah, right. New evidence that came in front of us. Um, out of the multiple new evidences that came in front of us, my biggest concern is the safety. Yeah, there's other things that may have gotten forgotten back in 1989, but if we know, if we know we, that there's a possibility of something happened, we have to do something about it. We, That's my opinion. We're all in agreement we're here. Agreement. We're, we're all in agreement. Going in circles. Yes. We're, we're all in agreement. What we're saying here, at least what I'm trying to say here, is that today our decision to make is this, not the safe, safety, yes, it is. We, we recommend, we do a thorough recommendation to the zoning board. We write a letter to the zoning we'll board. We'll show saying up at the commission we meeting. Can, we, can come up, we can show up as a group and say, we really think there is a safety issue here. The zoning board needs to do something. They have to review this, you know. We, we can do a lot of things, but today, in this meeting, in this particular, our, our job is to just you know, were they more cars like parked, idea. right? Yeah, no matter what happens today, yes. I like and, and we all believe the safety. We're all idea. agreeing in it. I'll go a letter on that. Yeah. All right. Do you have anything else, sir? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Man. Um, I've said my piece. Madam Secretary. I think I've I think. I'd like to overturn this notice of violation, and I think it should go back. And I think that the veteran should have space because of safety. I concur with that. Yes, ma'am. I am in favor of this. I think that in front of us today is there is not enough spaces, and I recommend that the veterans you know, we, BFW go back to zoning board and we write a letter to zoning board and we address the safety issue that is for everybody in Brookfield, you know, that we so table it and table it. So you're opposed, opposed to the application? I am. That makes you opposed? Yes, okay. yes, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so everybody ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. favor of approving application Z-23-27, uh, Jason D. Lewis, Memorial Post, number 10201, VFW, and Danbury Slovak uh, Gymnastics Union, Union Sokol, appeal of the CEO, say aye. 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 All those opposed say nay. 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 The, the motion fails. Okay. I'm going to hold you to that letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So we should still write the letter. Okay. And show up there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, All right. Right. Next on the agenda. Is that what you're looking at? No. I'm just trying to remember. I'm not going to go out there. Okay. And then. Now Thank you very much.
It's there. It's not out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sorry. I just have to do my job. I can't let you introduce It's nothing personal. I do it to everyone. I do it to commissioners. I do it to the audience. You do it to me. I do it to staff. It is not personal. Excellent. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry that we met that way. What an awful way. <laughs> I'm not good on my legs, my hearing's not good on my sight. I keep going across that road in a busy time. I told my wife, if I go to a meeting, I come across, I hit by a car, get killed, paralyzed, whatever. Uh, you got very dangerous here. You don't need to say it. If I get hit, paralyzed, you don't have the right to tell anybody to leave. She's going to get the best for what you're doing. No, you don't. You don't have that right. For a long time, I've heard her say Let's hope it doesn't happen. I hope it doesn't happen. But you will understand what's going on until you see what a lawyer okay. does what I heard today. I'd like to take a motion for a five-minute recess, please. Do I have a second? second. I'm sorry. We're going to take a five-minute recess. God bless you. I'll pray for you guys. All those in favor of taking a five-minute recess, say aye. Uh, you're going to pray for us? Pray for my sister that was killed on that road in 1982? Look it up. We'll be back at 7.54 exactly. I'm going to stay here. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. June 12th, 2023. This is the special meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, I'd like to take a motion to receive Mr. Hager as Vice Chair. I'll, I'll second. Oh, okay. Do I have yeah, a second? That worked. <laughs> we worked out. Okay. We had a third. <laughs> Listen, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Next on the agenda is uh, case number two, we're in closed deliberations here, but open to the public view. So number two will be, which is 731 Federal Road, Z-23-30, Artel Engineering Group, LLC, 304 Federal Road, Suite 308, Brookfield, Connecticut, uh, Scalzo Property Management. Request for variance, this is 6.1.alpha.3.echo, <coughs> .3 feet, uh, from parking spaces to front property line. Okay, let's open up the discussion. Who would like to go first? 
Mr. Chairman, I think I'm going to recruit myself here, a full board here, so I'm going to. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Larry. Thank you. Thank you. Who would like to go first? How many additional spaces were they looking for? 26. 26. And that was in the second building. That was uh, no, it's um, towards. No, there was an addition. This is an additional, right? Yeah. Uh, correct. Correct. Any, anybody mind if I bring up the Google Earth for that just to look at it? I brought it up last time. What do we need to? I don't need to, but I don't know if you need to. All right, I'm okay without it. I'm okay without it, too. So. Okay. Yes. Just, just to start discussions. Yeah, the, Absolutely. the hardship seems evident because of the wetlands. Uh, I don't think that <clears throat> approving it causes any issues with the distance to the road given how it set back the property is from uh, the road itself. I believe they said it was still how far from the road? Uh, for, for, for the road. I mean, let's take that time. Oh my. I think it was I think it was thirty I think it was thirty two plus six, so it's thirty eight, but I think it was a hair farther. It's in, uh, it's, 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 still, still, so it's still considerably far from the road. I don't think there's any issues with safety and the distance to the road. I think I agree with that. I drove around too and I think that the way the four corners and the whole, you know, we have parking on both sides, we have street parking. Mm -hmm. I think there's, to me, it feels like it's, and also the, the benefit of the town given the parking. Um, to me. Well, they did not specify, I don't remember, uh, I guess we give them, yeah, but they didn't specify yeah. that it would be dual use. The upper part uh, up here, I think it's 26 as as total parking. Um, well, it's 26 that they want to add. Right. And then the bottom side here was what the town was going to be on it. So, um, so that's, you're looking at the same one only, yeah. right? That guy right there. Okay. So they said this is all town, and here would you designate it town? Where, which one? The new ones? Yeah, the new ones. This one. I this don't specifically. Do you specifically remember them saying um, it would be dual use? I, I thought they said it was for, to make. No, they said it would be oh, for the grocery yeah, store. What's the point of? They set out spaces for the uh, for the steward or greenway. Right. Uh, I think this was already the greenway, the and then they the said this was for. Yeah. Uh, were you on? Oh, sorry. I hate to cut you off. I, I, I tend to talk no, myself I, out loud. I'm sorry. I want you to do it. It's just a habit of mine. Um, go ahead. So what did Mr. Brooks say? I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Well, Lisa? Be next time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just wondering where you're going with this. Because okay. I think a lot of the, uh, the rest of us in gathering are ready to vote on it. And so oh, it well. seems like you're. No, I'm right. almost ready to vote on it. But okay. the only thing is, I wanted to clarify something. See, as I remember, um, she said the 26 new spaces, and this is a big variance, it's a 99% variance. She's asking for 20, yeah, it's huge. Right. It's basically the whole entire setback she's asking for. Um, but I don't remember her saying that these were dual use. I specifically re remember, and going back what I said, that it was basically <coughs> to make up, when they, they had, had to make a deal with the town, which has nothing to do with us, but they had to make a deal with the town to add this part for this uh, Green River Steelway Basically, they're trying to get back from us the 26 spaces that they gave up to the town, which is this. And that was what I heard to make up in, for the grocery store. I think I actually asked this question as a I remember Did you remember asking, her answer? Yeah, and I well, think she told back. me this She said it was what? dual use? No, but she said these, 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 these spots What's was the point? Well, if, if, we granted, if we were to grant the variance on it, there's yeah. nothing saying unless we had a stipulation okay. on it that it would be dual use. They could basically take that front parking that we gave up a 99% variance on forever and not allow anybody from the Greenway to park on it, even if it's available, if they wanted to, unless we put a stipulation on it. That's, okay. that's what I'm thinking. 
I just don't remember that, and I was wondering if anybody else remember that. I don't recall them saying anything about the 26 space. We can check back in the minutes. The minutes said 26. Yeah, I remember the number was 26. I remember, I remember the 16 that you're talking about, Alan. Yeah. Like for, uh, Definitely. I remember the yeah, I, the I specifically speed. remember, when I remember, and I, I question a little bit on it, basically, she brought up that, hey, we made a deal with the town, which has nothing to do with us, but this specific parking lot that they made was, was for the Greenway, which is fine. But when they gave that up, they, which, want, they want to get some back. Which she, I understand where they're coming from, and I, they do see hardships on the property. The topography, the yeah. wetlands, and the new shape of the property. Yeah. I still see the hardships. I just think if we're giving something up for in perpetuity, that if we put a stipulation on it that, that it had to be for full use, I think it could only help if those spots were blank because they're so close. They're closer than these. They will walk out here, I don't know what kind of if they're gonna have a path or whatever, but these other ones are gonna be right up against and the greenway is right on the other side of that because that telephone pole is there. And the telephone pole, that's right on the greenway. So I have no problem granting a variance as long as we put a stipulation that it's fully used. Well, is, isn't what we get out of the 16 spaces, if we don't grant the variance, do they, are they still giving up the 16 spaces? No, are they no, taking no, I don't the think so. Right, they're so we already, that we already, the town already gets the 16 spaces by the variance. Right, right. What's wrong with having a dual use though, if it's available? Is there a problem with having dual use? I think, um, I just don't Mr. think. Mr. Chairman, yeah, I, I remember Mr. asking the economic, I remember um, in that, and Mr. that's why it's, I'm sorry. Yes, and that's sorry. why it's you know, kind of top of mind to me because I think I remember asking how many spaces would the town get at the end? And I just think that they said 10 here and you know, with all of this, I think 26 or 36, they said town was well, getting 26 is a total. He said no, no, right over all the town asking. spaces, yes. the right. town um, um, designated greenway spaces. Well, is is there a, I don't see really what the problem is designating them dual use. It's just, if we designated it dual use or put a stipulation on that, that means they couldn't just take the 26 that we gave them and say, no, sorry, it's only for the supermarket, even if they're empty. If it's dual I use and we have they would mark the spaces. See, That's I don't remember the exact details on it, but I, I remember them saying it was for the supermarket and, and or maybe the apartment people. Basically to make up for it. Oh, not at all. I, I would just like to, what I'm arguing for is I'd like to add the stipulation to make it full cool use. That's all. I'm in favor. Yeah, I'm in favor of, the, of this. I don't know what with the dual. That yeah, it can't hurt. Dual use is dual yeah. use. If, if the, nobody dual else use. was going to use it, then the people at the supermarket go there. If, if it's empty, then people that are going on the Greenway can go there. That's my thinking because it's going to be 50 years down the road. But um, they do have designated Greenway parking lot. From what I remember, oh yeah. So yes. it might be so my yeah. conversation at that time. Right. That was right. my right. point at that time. Cheap yeah. parking for the Greenway. Yeah. Okay. Right. What do you mean by cheap? Like if it's dip. Yeah. No, you got. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. the, no, if it's up already, so this, the, the greenway bonds are strictly for green. But it's only sixteen. We're about to give them twenty-six. Well, that just that's helps. twenty-six spaces. That just helps everyone. They get an extra mm -hmm. ten spaces. The town gets no, 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 no. I did not hear that at all. I. This is that all twenty-six. This is all greenway. Yeah. I was. I remember this very clearly. Yeah. yeah that's and like ten here, spaces, or what's the number of spaces there? And, and here was what they said that that would be greenway. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven, eight, 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 so there's 16 there, and then it's just not not I don't know we're we're giving giving 26 spaces for 16, and we're not putting a stipulation of full use. I'm in favor of this, but I think that if we had the stipulation of full use, let's say the the end part, which is closest to this parking, right? Uh, I think I counted up with Mr. Polio today, and it was like 11 spaces. But let's say this thing's full. Now, they have the other ones that we gave them up here, and they marked them off, sorry, this is for the supermarket only, or this and that. Now, where are those people going to park? They're just going to look for blank, empty spots over there. So if we just say they cannot mark them for the supermarket only. Why don't we just say dual use? Dual use is dual use. It's pretty simple. But it doesn't make sense. I, 
I, I'm in favor of it. I, I am, but I, I just, I don't know. I just would feel better with at least that stipulation on it. I think That's the town, um, from from what I remember, the town has already negotiated their spaces. They have they have designated green bay spaces, not green bay. Is what the whole. Uh, yeah, we only consistent count. I thought we said consistent with the realization of the yeah. town. Period. Is that What's that? Consistent with the town. Part of this, um, well, if it's 20, well, if we're giving them 26 and there's only, what was it, 11 over here? I don't know, the math, it's 15? 16. The math, the math isn't adding up to me. Is it that big with them? No, in the opposition of the action. Are you okay with the speculation from dual use? No. No, you're not. I think it's unclear, and it may cut against what they're looking for. I think we're making this more challenging than it needs to be. I think we should just, they, they, I don't see a stipulation that we are uh, in a place to um, a dual use. I don't even know what that means. It means you can use it for the green. I just want to make sure everybody's okay in here. Doing great. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm really glad you're Thank you. Came. Thank you, Thank you, you Officer. Do you need to hang out for a little while? Or? I think we're good. You think you're yes. good? Okay. You know, but I'm, yeah, I would like, like you to hang out until we leave. Yeah. Until we leave. All right. I heard something yeah, too. Sure. That's very no problem. So I'm going to be right out here. If Thank I you, hear sir. any voices raising, I'm going to step right in. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Not in here. Um, not so, in here. <laughs> but you mentioned We're something about, yelling. okay, they can't put up a sign supermarket or apartments only. But that's the same thing as dual use. I think right. whatever deal they have. Or, or multi-use. Multi multi Maybe it's a better word of it. I, I think whatever. Yeah, I, I agree with Lisa. I think whatever deal they have with the town is already. But somebody tell me the deal. I don't know it. Other other than I'm, 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 the only part of the deal I know is <laughs> the town Chairman asking. Allen, to I am telling you, I heard this the day we had the. Okay. The, but it's not in the minutes. But the minute I, I I know it's not. No, no. We, I trust I your memory. I question. The, nothing that I questioned is here either. So what I'm saying is that you got me. You know, we have to kind of remember what we remember. Yeah. So how many? When you heard it, how many did they I say didn't was ask for? How many the town was getting? And they said 26, 36 overall is the town was getting. And they were designated spots for the greenway, not dual use. They were designated. And yeah, and then somebody brought up, well, they'll park anywhere anyway. Yeah, somebody, you know, they'll, yes, right, I right. That. I remember they'll, that. They'll park. Yes. No, Are you okay I with? Mean, you said twenty six or, what was or thirty six, and I don't. I'm not That's a big difference. Yes. I just want to make sure that yeah. people, are the, if we're giving up yeah, on ninety nine percent, yeah, yeah. Well, there, there was a lot. I want to make sure that the people of the the Greenway only, can also uh, a have previous use variance was run for the town, but only for 16. Because it's going to be the yeah, 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 36 requests. So I think by saying dual use, it makes it worse for the town. No, I don't I don't believe the new 26 are solely for the Greenway. That's what you no, heard. No, they're not. They're, yeah, they're, they're for not. both. They're for they're both. Not. See, right here. They can we just approve this? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. ready to I'm move. Okay, okay, no. One approved with no stipulations. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So, I should have taken the very first motion, which was to a motion to approve as submitted. Uh, yeah, Lighting. motion to approve. Where's the number? Uh, here I got the C twenty three C dash twenty three dash thirty seven thirty one Federal Road as submitted. No second. I second. Okay. All those in favor of approving Z dash twenty three dash thirty Artel Engineering Group LLC. Uh, this is the 731 Federal Road LLC, and this is for the 25 and a half foot variant zoning regulations, Article 6, General Standard 6.1.alpha.3.echo. Say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. You're Thank you. All right, next on the agenda. I will take a motion to approve, uh, this is C on the agenda, and we're gonna go right into deliberations. To approve 20 Station Road, Z-23-31, Alan Rothman, 10 Julia Lane Street, uh, 103, Cold Spring, New York, request for variance 5.1, Delta 2 Bravo and 5.1 Delta 4 and 5.1 Echo, relief of commercial space requirements for mixed use property in a TCD zone. This says 7,000, however, I think that's incorrect. I think it's 7,500. 
7,000 square, 7, square foot added to maximum footprint and partial fourth floor. So moved. Okay. Discussion. Do we need a second on that? Do we have a second? I have a second. We need seconds. Okay. What? I'm sorry, what just, just Okay, uh, we had to get a second. We're just a, a okay. proving it to Starting discuss. Something Starting something to say. Yes, but would you like to go first? Yes. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm a little bit confused and uh, concerned over the owner mm. of the property. He, from what I understand and what you explained in calling, mm -hmm. And I know they said they're going to go through the lawyer. God, I work with lawyers over 25 years. I know it. I get it. But if the owner is not approving, I don't understand why he's not approving it. It's have, contaminated. We have a letter from him approving exactly. it. We have a signed letter. They, but, but that signed letter means nothing. Yeah, it means that he approved it. To Wrong. What he said. Wrong. That's that not what we're here to discuss. Yeah, that's well, not what look, we're here if for. Go ahead. Sorry, I know that, well, I'm not finished, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, and I know that it would be good for the town. I, I know that fixing this contamination would be good for the town. But I just feel that you're, you calling him up. Twice. And then getting a letter saying it's okay. Something's I don't remember if that was the lawyer calling him. I mean, I don't know if I'm making a big deal out of this, but the letter if I was a landowner uh, and I would want to be approached to, to say, look, I'll, I'll pay all of what's owed on it, sell it to, sell it to us, and uh, I mean, doesn't that the way it goes in real estate? That's the way it goes. You know, I want to buy that, no, and yes, in an exchange of, of money. In this case, it's contamination, so it would be good for Brookfield, and I understand that. If they can buy it. If they can buy it. If they can buy it. Um, would anybody mind if I went next? I usually wait to the end, but I wouldn't mind going next. Or I'll wait well, to the end. When you're done, after you're short, done. It's a good short. <laughs> I'll try my best. Okay. Do you mind? Yeah, go for it. I would like you to keep it short. Go ahead. I will, I will absolutely <laughs> try my best. Um, I'll make it as simple and plain as possible is uh, not quite a two years yet, but the whole entire time I've been on the Zoning Board of Appeals, every application that's come in front of us um, goes like clockwork. You can take it on an add machine and you can add it up. It goes through planning, it goes through zoning, it goes through wetlands, which this one went through wetlands. Um, and then it, it, something comes up to us. Nothing on this, nothing adds up at all. Something is terribly wrong with this application. What do you mean? Here, all I can do is go by what the person who is the legal rightful owner, which I verified in the land records office. I know that Mr. Rothman said, and it was funny, but he said, oh, we have a legal agreement pending to buy the property. And I said, do you have it here? And he goes, no. He said it was through the lawyers or something like that. Why don't you have that here? And then he said, well, it was done during, uh, yeah, what's the word? Uh, yeah, you know when you have a lawyer sitting in for somebody else? I forget the word on it. Power of attorney? No, power not a power of attorney. Conservative. A conservative, thank you. He said, well, it was done for conservative. But I had, when I'd done my homework on this, I double checked and the conservatorship is gone. The judge ruled and threw it out. There's no conservatorship. So this property is 1,000% owned by Mr. McCarty. The two times that I talked to him on the phone, as far as I'm concerned, he wants it invalidated. The, they messed it up in the minutes on this one, but we weren't going over the minutes. But he told me he knew nothing about it on the first application, nothing about it on the second one, and was upset and told me to pass it on, which I did, to Mr. Lolly, um, Amy, and also the land use director we had at the time, Mrs. Hotza. Exactly what I wrote down and what he said, and I got off the phone and I was... He said, I want all this invalidated. I spoke to my wife, I want it invalidated. So basically what I'm saying is everything that they're doing, and it doesn't make sense to me, but they spent a lot of time going through wetlands, it's speculation. They don't own the property, they don't have anything in writing to own the property, and now they're asking us 
for a humongous variance. That 7,000, by the way, that number's wrong. Whoever wrote that on there, we gotta fix that. It's 7,500 square feet per floor. So the TCD, here's the other thing that really is, is on my mind. The 2017-18 rewrite, okay, which cost us taxpayers in town over $100,000. But that rewrite, everybody was involved. Planning, economic development, the selectmen, zoning, wellings, everybody and their brother was involved and they planned the TCD out a certain way. And the brief on the plan was no more than three stories. That's, this is what they want in the TCD. No more than three stories, no more than a 12,000 foot uh, footprint um, commercial must be on the first floor. He's asking us for a hundred percent variance, no commercial law on the first floor, and it's uh, 42 feet max. So it was supposed to be three, three floors. He's asking us to go into a fourth floor on there on speculation because we don't even know if he can buy the property. Just nothing at all adds up to me on this. So I am fervently against this. That's my opinion. I could go into another 12 things on here, but I don't want to. You said be quick, so I'm gonna to try to be quick. It's just nothing makes sense. Nothing adds up on this whatsoever. Why didn't he just either invite Mr. McCarty here or get him on the telephone? He could have got him on the phone. We would have put him right on speakerphone here. Any one of us could have asked you a question. Can, I'm gonna get in trouble as, again. You can I'm call me as a consultant, not as a board member, um, and I'm not I'm expressing an opinion on the decision you make, but I would say as a 40-year um, veteran of the world of mental health, I think we're dealing with a mental health issue here. I think that this man is a psychiatric problem, and, and his, that's why his wife came forward and said, we're ready to sell, we want to sell. I think that's what's probably going on, I okay, guess. Did his wife sign that uh, letter, Mr. Briggs? I don't have it in front of me. No, but it's as no. much right. relevant to the case as Alan's points that... No, right. I, I, I respectfully disagree with my colleague, and I'll tell you why, and I not nearly as long as he is, but I've dealt with mental health issues too. But I physically talked to the gentleman on the phone twice, not once, twice. The lawyer said he never even bothered to pick up a phone and call the property owner, not once. Always try to do everything through the attorney and this and that, and then the piece of paper that he had or the agreement to possibly sell that piece of property, he doesn't have it. And no way he doesn't have it because it probably doesn't exist because the conservatives got him, Mr. McCarty. It's public it's information. It is, I'm it sorry, is sir. I'm sorry, record. sir. We no. can't take anything yeah. from the audience. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. It threw me off a little bit there. Is if Mr. McCarty doesn't want to sell the property, it isn't going to be sold. Mm -hmm. It just won't happen. Why would we bother I, making that big of a variance on that? Couldn't we make the variance contingent on the sale of the property? Hmm? Yes, I don't think so. Why not? Why? I don't think so. Why? Mr. Chairman, I, I know you maybe objected on, to that's, it on other grounds. Well, no, but, no, but that's, just, like, that's just one of the grounds. I'll sit here all night long and go over it, but um, that's... Okay, something so doesn't seem right. And here's, here's the other thing. They, they don't even need a variance. So let's say tomorrow. The Mr. McCarty sold the, sold the property for $1 to anybody. Anybody could go in there and build a 12,000 square foot, so that's 36,000 square foot. Not a brownfield. No, they, they'd have to clean it up. It's a million two. That's not a lot of money in, in the scheme two? of things. We, we spent a million four rebuilding a wall yeah, at the uh, Whiskey Mirror. Uh, Mr. Chairman, can I? But we can always get another grant. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So I, I do want us to. I know what happened to you with those phone calls was not right. Mm. But I want us to take a step back and just think about the place. I'm sure you've driven across. You went to see the property. No. You have not? No. Only drove by. He did not. He's no, no, but you drove by. You drove by. Yeah, I, did, I drove by. Too. Yeah, I went and so parked my car there yep, and I yep, took yep. a look at the property. Yep. Just for one second, let us just talk about why is that property in that condition? It's blight. I have, a bl I have a house on up my road which is blight. The reason it's blight is because the owners are not responsible or taking care of it, right? Mm. We have to all, as well, the responsible taxes. citizens of the town, yeah. we gotta, we gotta, at the end of the day, this is not about the owner per se, this is about our town. This and is about 1.2 million residents. Exactly. This is about the health it's and safety that's of financial. our residents. That's financial. No, no. And yeah, it is about the 1.2 million dollars. Well, I'll speak to the pollution in a second. Sure. What? It is, it, the property is contaminated. It is a sore eyesore right in the middle of a town. 
Uh, nobody's going to touch that property. Mm -hmm. They're they're taking that risk, which is a huge risk. And, and the grant is conditional, one point two million dollars. That is just for the cleanup. If mm -hmm. somebody does this, takes this up, right? So I'm urging the board to look at it from a you know, not just the two phone calls perspective. Mm -hmm. They obviously, you know, and I, 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 I totally agree with. So the owner of the property's opinion say, doesn't mean anything in, in your. I opinion? think the owner of the property is not able to make those decisions. If he was, we can't make that determination. We can't make that determination. Well, um, well, I, I think the fought paperwork. I think, well, I, know, I, sorry, sorry, I think that's part of the point. We can't make that determination. We can make a determination on the application, right. mm -hmm. but. What we do have is a signed letter from Ed McCarthy giving us permission. Uh -uh. If he has an issue with his attorney or conservatorship going against him, that's an issue for between him and a court of law. That's not, we're not ones to decide if someone's forging his name or someone's illegally. It doesn't matter. We can't make That's it for a judge. You see where our whole discussion is? With nothing attorney nothing on this makes sense. So I, it makes sense to me. I doesn't have, make any I have sense a letter from Edward McCarthy giving permission. But that you, makes sense to me. I didn't hear But you phone. also got a phone call. I did not get a phone call. You got a phone call. I have right. your word for it, which right. I, I, I trust your word, but I've also heard things about Edward McCarthy and... That's hearsay. The only but thing that's not hearsay is a letter. But your from phone Edward call McCarthy could also giving, be a bias. Your phone call mm -hmm. could also be the moment or whatever he's not in the frame of mind to speak or whatever. There could be several situations here. Not twice, here. I doubt twice. Uh, well, that's not, I, I, I would pray oh. that we stop talking about this one issue there. This is just. Yeah, I think there's so we, many other things about the uh, application too. Yeah. We're not gonna convince you. I, I, I you know, well, I think convincible, that. It's convincible, but something doesn't make sense. It just doesn't add up. It, something doesn't add up on here. And I have to respect the landowner what the man physically told me on the phone twice. Okay, well, the sale will go, th if the sale yeah. goes through and, you know, it can That's be challenged than, at that time, but. Then okay. if the sale goes through, they can come back in front of us again. So why don't we talk about the no, variance they're not requested? Why buy the property without a promise no. that it's, it can be, they can get the money. Yeah, I think we're all convinced. We we all we all have our opinions on this mm -hmm. particular point. Mm -hmm. Let's let's move on to the the, the variance asked. And mm -hmm. are we you know what is our position on the variances, the different yeah. types of variances? Let's yeah, talk about that and then decide you know, sure. if you're ready to vote. Thank you. I, I agree with that. So the variance requests, um, as I read it on here, it was for a hundred percent. Uh, residential so basically eliminating the need for any commercial at all on the first floor in the TCD and that could be result um, that's the one part the other part was the and I can hey Fran mind if I ask you a quick question they had 7,000 here but I remember on the original plans in the ask it was 7,500 square feet per floor does that sound familiar to you it does not, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Okay. Seven thousand sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So it's twenty. So it's an additional twenty-one thousand feet that they're asking for, and a fourth floor, partial fourth floor, in some of them. So it's a humongous ask. It's a humongous ask, especially for, in my opinion, how how it was laid out or how it was supposed to be in the TCB, be because we're going to set a precedence. As soon as we say okay to this, there's a bunch of other, let me finish please. There's a bunch of other properties in there and everybody else is gonna say, oh, you know what, 20 Station Road. There is no precedence here, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. This is a unique property with the contamination. I don't think, there are only two blights. I, Brookfield, I yeah. don't know, I don't exactly have the words here, but this is the only blight that is kind of causing our town. Right, so but we, we have had, questions We had several town people right. come in and, you know, Remember, we had the meet in our last meeting. Several mm -hmm. members from the town came in, and they, the, the officers, they came in and said they worked really hard on this property to get this here. So I think we need to. You mean the grant part of it? Yes, the grant part of it. Yeah. it's a big grant. Mm -hmm. for us. But, yeah. but but the same person, grant put the same exact dollars. person. I asked him the question, hey, if we don't get this grant, can we apply for another grant in the future? And he said yes. But why yes. use this opportunity today to fix something that is so bad? To the health and safety so of, of our town, of our town. But, but there's a little bit 
Uh, yeah, here's I here's my him, other problem. I still yeah. There, there was there was I conflicting. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm no, 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 all right. You go no, first. No, nobody wants to listen. No, no, please. No, no, please no, no, I, I apologize. No, please, go ahead. please, Dana. Please. I agree with the other commissioners that it is for the town. It's a contamination. We do have something, somebody that wants to fix it. But I still, I'm weary about the sale. I, I agree with Lisa. I think there should be a stipulation pending as the sale, S-A-L-E, of the how property. Long? Well, I, I don't know. I'm I think we can do that. I mean, that yeah. Not other stipulations. Yes, but I think they, I, I don't think. You think as long as it has a stipulation? As long as, right, as long as I can see that the owners, now you're saying the wife, it doesn't make a difference, you're the lawyer, so I, I don't know. Okay. I mean, Unless she has power of attorney. Can you right? yeah. stipulation specific to the plan, which is in effect the same as the stipulation? Specific to the sale because the yes. plan is going right. to go into effect. Right. The sale doesn't go into effect. So if, you, if the stipulation approval is attached to the specific plan, then you're covering it and you don't have to worry about the ins and outs of how the sale goes or doesn't go. Uh, seems to me that would solve the whole issue. Yeah. Right. Are we ready to vote? No, yes. I, 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 I'd like to speak. Okay. Okay. So my, my only issue is not just with the owner and the owner basically asking us to revoke this. So everybody's saying, dust that. Don't worry about what he says. Whatever. It's the amount of the ask. It's a humongous, humongous ask. It's a 100% ask or variance reduction on the commercial on the first. It's 100%. And then they're asking for 7,000 square feet per floor, so that's 21,000 square feet. And 60 units was the number that he was at. I think the ask is way too high, especially for that. And I respectfully okay. disagree, because somebody could come in front of them. There's a lot of other properties there. They could say, oh, well, we only granted that and that. But then we have to argue that with somebody. When they come back in front of us, somebody's going to buy another piece of property and say, you know what? Business is a little slow yeah. over there. I want to make sure different. that there's no... Right? Business is slow is different than the, the land being polluted. No. It, so what you're saying right now, is right here and right now, if anybody comes in front of us in the next two or three years, buys another piece of property, you're not going to grant them a variance for residential on the first floor. No, because they don't have the hardship. This no, is a hardship, hardship. This is a unique hardship, hardship. Of, hardship. Unique hardship. hardship. of the land. The it's a very property unique. is polluted. That is the unique hardship but there's, to this there's land. A problem no other pollution. property in the TCD has the issue but or to this extent that they're all they would all be different. Business is slow. <coughs> it's not a is a financial hardship. It's, it's not, not a hardship a, yeah. of the land. We have a polluted piece of property is a hardship of the land. That's the difference to me, and why I would I would say no to any other. I understand, and I respect what you're saying, but please respect. I have to, I have to go by what I physically heard from the man that owns the property that I verified owns the property, and that's it. That's he wants it rejected. He doesn't want it in there. He wanted it invalidated. That was his exact words. I have to go by the property owner. I can't by, go by a piece of paper that somebody says that they had. I got to go by what I physically heard with the gentleman on the phone. And they can come back in front of us, after, this is my opinion, and bring them in, bring Mr. McCarty in, get them on the telephone with us, let them talk to us, but we need evidence. We need hard facts and evidence. And they also have a problem with the amount of the uh, contamination that they were talking about. Because I watched and listened to the wetlands meeting. It, I guess there was three of them, but at the second meeting, they said that there was less contamination than they thought. Then they went to the third meeting of wetlands. They're right next door. Uh, if we were in still public hearing, we could ask them. But they went to the third meeting and they said there's even less than what they thought. So there's no information or no data or anything on that. There isn't. There just isn't. So I'm I'm against this for a okay bunch of different, different opinions. Let's just vote. Yeah, let's just, is everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Stipulate this. Uh, His conditions on the yes. approval, you know, about well, adoption of the sale of the. Uh, yeah, or, or just on the, on the plan that's uh, specific and to the I'd plan. Also, I'd also want to bring up, and I think Lucy, you could tell me if I'm wrong, um, that the property owner could have been
don't people who come here in front of the board, aren't they obligated to tell the truth? We've discussed this at length. Yes. Right? And so the people who came before us were professing to have to be have the authorization given by a different authorization. The well, a sale. A, the sale. So you're was. saying that they're lying. No, it's I'm basically. saying he didn't bring the piece of paper that supposedly that the sale was on. It's not. It, it was never presented us. But they presented to us as a fact. You mean we, verbally? And yes. So that's not good enough. Can we okay. make it well, contingent on the sale? Yes. Well, well, we have evidence. Um, you can judge for yourself. Yeah, I mean, we sure, have to see it. We are judging it differently. Okay, I'm contingent. Can we do a step on the? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do that. Yes, I think so too. And I think it would be good for the town too. So yes, so on to. I'll make a motion to approve Z-23-31 20 Station Road uh, with the stipulation that it is contingent on the sale of the property. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those against, say nay. Nay. Okay. Uh, but the stipulation is out. Okay. You ready? Thank you want me to read it? You want me to read it? Uh, it's not over yet. Okay. Okay. Well, we, we just added the stipulation. Well, we approved. Well, what, oh, we okay. Approved. Those are the stipulation. Those are oh, the okay. motion yeah, to approve with the stipulation. I take it back. We are done. <laughs> so the motion passes um, four, one. four to one. Now, do you want me to give this to um, Amy? So with with the stipulation. And the, that, and the so hardships. Make the changes. Let me go over the hardships. Let me go over the hardships. Uh, so the contamination. Biggest changes, Amy. Contamination. Yeah. That's it. Contamination. Yeah, that's the biggest. Yeah, and that's, I think that's, that's the easy. biggest hardship, well, and I think well, that's good well. for Brookfield. But yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, I want to know that the well, that's, you that's know, it's mentally incapable. That's why we have the stipulation. It was not sure. right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. It's kind of easy to read. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. All those in favor, I have a second. Don't get jumpy. Second. All those in favor to adjourn, say aye. 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 Thank you.